battlefield of ideals But the way she touches and the way it feels Must be just how it is But the robin outside has to hunt and hide In the cold, frosty shire Oh, but he knows just what goes in between His cold toes and his warm ears And he's got no disguise in his eyes In this video I'm going to show you how to play Me and My Woman from Stormcock. Me and My Woman is one of Roy Harper's most ambitious and complex songs. It goes on for 13 minutes I think and it has different sections. So I'll try to do a, a lesson as accurate as possible and we're probably in for a long video I think. On this video I'm going to follow the original Stormcock version which has a couple of things different from live versions and I'll point the differences when we get there. Another thing is that I decided to divide the song and the lesson in five parts. This division is my idea, there's nowhere it says that the song is divided in these parts, uh, unlike uh, the Lord's Prayer, for instance, which has different parts with different names. So this is just something that I came up with in order to make things clearer and easier to understand. And for the first part, I considered the beat that I played at the beginning of the video, those couple of verses that are based on this guitar riff, and the instrumental section uh, that comes after that. For this first part, the guitar is tuned in standard tuning and in concert pitch, so this is an E. And let's start with the guitar riff. This use is a kind of a B shape, but with the first and second strings open. But you don't pick the first string, just the second. So you only use these three fingers. And the only thing that changes is the descending bass progression that starts in B. the first B bass you can do a hammer on the second fret like this
then when we come to the verses it goes like this I never know what kind of day it is so you stay on this chord for a while and then on your way out of this chord and before going to G you do it like this so when you pick the DA bass you have to lift your fingers from the chord and then go to G this G chord you don't have to press the first string because you don't pick the first string but you have to press the second string on the third fret because you pick it like this and then you go to A and then to B minor then you repeat but the way she touches and the way it feels so this plays the same way until you go to B minor then you strum the A chord minor again. On your way out you have to lift the bar and then continue to the guitar riff like this. Then comes the second verse which has the same structure but in the end, when you get to the, the part that you strum the chords oh, but he knows just what goes between his cold toes and his warm ears so when you get to this B minor instead of uh, moving out to the guitar riff once again you have to go back to the A chord once again and he's got no disguise in his eyes for this love as she needs and only then you move on to the guitar riff To finish part one, there is this beautiful instrumental section, uh, which is probably the most difficult part of the song. So you get to this section after playing the guitar riff, like this. So you go to E minor. Then from E minor you go to this shape, which is a D. Like 
this. So watch out for the hammer on the 6th string and then on the 3rd string. Until here, your thumb has been picking the 6th and 4th strings, but then, while you are still on this D shape, you change your thumb picking for the 5th and 4th strings, like this. So, you move your thumb to the 5th string. Then you move to a regular D, like this, and once again your thumb moves down to the 4th and 3rd strings, and your index finger and middle finger to the 2nd and 1st strings. This is probably the most difficult part, so your little finger goes to the 3rd fret and then to the 5th fret, and then it has to reach to the 5th fret but on the 3rd string, without taking off the D shape. minor on the 5th fret and here once again your thumb is picking the 5th and 3rd strings and your index finger and middle finger the 2nd and 1st strings. So from this shape which is a bar on the 5th fret, then you put your fingers like this, and then this shape. When you go to this shape, you hammer the 1st string. out of this A minor you have to take your fingers so that you can reach fast enough for the C chord. This C you start with your little finger on the first string like this and your thumb is still picking the fifth and third strings. So here you have to do a, a bar on the 1st and 2nd strings on the 1st fret Here there is a, a hammer on the 2nd string This is G and then So from C to A minor, and you finish in E minor.
Now, before we move on to part two, I must mark out a few things. At this point in the song, there is an orchestral break, and somewhere along that, um, the song drops down the key, so that when the guitar resumes, it's uh, tuned half a tone down to D sharp. It's still standard tuning, but tuned down to D sharp. Another thing is that from this point on, the main guitar in the song is a 12 string guitar. Well, none of that happens on live versions. When Roy plays the song live, he continues with uh, the same guitar in the same tuning throughout the whole song. So I thought about it, if I should continue with the guitar in concert pitch or should I drop down to D sharp. And in the end I opted for sticking to the original version, which I understand is not the user-friendly option, but this way I remain faithful to the original version, which is the one I'm following. So from this point on I'm going to be using my 12 string tuned down half a tone to D sharp. And finally you change from finger picking to a flat pick. So, part two starts with a few lines that work as a kind of an intro. He spreads her shelter She takes the tall sky So this is just D and E minor. And after that we launch into the first verse. And she wakes my days with a glad face. She fakes and says I'm a hard case. She makes and plays like a bad ace. Carry into Scott's space and she knows me well I've a lot of hell that only time can tell where we go into So the first chord is this one, which is a kind of an A minor, but with a slightly different voicing. So index finger on the third string, fifth fret, and ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. The fifth second and first strings are open. And the second chord is E minor. And then there is a descending bass on the sixth string that finishes in E minor. And the chorus is, once again, D and E minor. After the second verse chorus of part two, we start part three with this chord. 
This first chord is A major 7th, like this, but I think Roy plays it like this. And then you go to D, and then you go back to A major 7th. you alternate between the complete chord and lifting these two fingers from the second and first strings. On live versions Roy does it in a different way. Instead of doing the A major 7th, he does a simple A chord then lifts the ring finger from the second string and then when we get to the line oh how we fail down then you go to a oh how we is E. Okay, so... Oh, how we fell down Oh, how we nailed down And then comes this little riff This riff uses this chord as a bass, but you start with your little finger here on the 5th string, For now you play the riff once and then you go to this chord. This is an F major 7th. So you do it with a bar on the first four strings, third fret, and then with your little finger you do a bar on the first three strings on the 5th fret. Ok? Sunset My color King is my So from the F major 7th, you do this lick with the open strings and you finish in E minor. So with open strings, first you pick the first string and then with a slow upward movement and you finish in E minor. Then you go to D and A.
so this is with the D chord and you just have to reach for the 4th and 5th frets with your little finger on the 1st string, like this. And A. And then on the way out... And so here... You go to E, back to D, and E again. And so Then you repeat that riff that we've seen before. Can I break through the silence? that has taken my place so this is A minor E minor D and E minor again then you repeat on the plains of the morning that I just could not face and then we move on to part four. Asking you these questions, telling you these lies, developing the righteous developing these guys. I'm open to suggestions, but I For on the original version, Roy uses the E chord. But on live versions, I think he uses E minor. So this is the difference. And then the Dead on Arrival chorus is uh, G. D. E minor and then harmonics on the seventh fret the second time you don't do harmonics you just do the E minor chord And finally, part 5, which is a kind of a reprise of part 2 and uses this verse chorus structure. The cuckoo, she moves through the dawn fanfare. The two leaves the roof in the magic air. And so on. And then Roy usually finishes the song with this. 